Welcome to another edition of Am I Humble, a show where two gentlemen discuss all things sport and what is just our humble opinion. I'm your host, Damian Banks. On today's edition, we cover the North Carolina Central Eagles football team. Head coach Jerry Mack and his Eagles recently won the 2014 MEAC Championship, the first in school history. Also, we have a special guest in studio, Antoine the Future Austin, one of Durham, North Carolina's own. This promising prospect is on the rise. Stay right there. We'll be back after this commercial break. One voice, one vision, one movement, one network. We are one. Welcome back. First, we cover head coach Jerry Mack and the North Carolina Central Eagle football team. The Eagles entered Saturday's game trying to kill two birds with one stone, beat longtime rival North Carolina A&T for the first time in four years, and also claim a share of the 2014 MEAC championship. To make Saturday even more special, it was senior day at Oak Kelly Riddick Stadium. Now the Aggies got the scoring started when running back Tariq Cohen rushed for a 35-yard touchdown in the first quarter. Now not to be outdone, the Eagles struck back quickly as senior wide receiver Jazz King caught a 10-yard touchdown pass from Malcolm Bell. Now the score was tied at 7-7 at halftime, and in the second half, the Eagles took flight. Malcolm Bell had a 35-yard touchdown run, and senior running back Andre Clark had a 3-yard run to put the Eagles up 21-14. A&T would try to inch closer, behind Tyreek Cohen's four-yard touchdown run, but it wasn't enough as North Carolina Central pulled out the 21-14 victory. Head coach Jerry Mack and the Eagles are 2014 MEAC champions, and we salute you. Bull City Legacy, coming to you one of the biggest collaborations in Durham history, sports and entertainment, your local pro sports team, you don't want to miss this season. Come out this November and the rest of the year. Support your local athletes and entertainers this year. We'll see you there. Bull City Legacy, baby. I am Sports by Damien. Tune in to In My Humble, a show where two gentlemen discuss all things sport and what is just our humble opinion. My name is David Moore. I'm the uh, owner of One Hit Promotions. We have another exciting event coming up on January 31st at the downtown Durham Armory called the Fist of Fury. We have Antoine Austin and Demetrius uh, who will be uh, fighting at the Durham Armory. Doors open up at six. Uh, don't miss it. This is gonna be incredible. Get your tickets now. It will be a sellout. Bull City, born and raised. We all want sports, entertainment, everything. It's all about the city, Puff TV, and the takeover is real. You know how we do. Welcome back to the show. We have a special guest in the studio, Antoine the Future Austin. How you doing? Promising prize fighter right here out of Durham, North Carolina. Now this young man, I've seen him fight in person. All out action fighter. Antoine, thanks for joining the show. Thanks for having me. Now, I brought you here today because first of all, I'm a fan. And, and it, to, t to do what you do takes a lot of training, a lot of dedication and quite frankly, a lot of guts. Um, tell the people a little bit about yourself and your story and how you got to this point in your career. Um, you know, was, first of all, love to fight, you know, it was, it was something I always loved to do coming up coming up as a, as a, as a youngster. So um, I started boxing whatever like that coming up and, and turned into a professional. I fell in love with the sport and, you know, kind of made it out of career, you know. Now currently, you're training in California, Big Bear, yeah. California, training with some heavy hitters. Triple G, Galani Golufnin, world champion. You're getting a lot of experience out there and a lot of knowledge in the fight game. Now, how do you bring that training into the ring on fight night? Well, uh, tra training, it shows. It shows all the hard work you put in for as month after months. Uh, when you're away from home, 
and it, it shows in the ring. Like they say, you know, when you're training hard, everybody knows it. When you're not training hard, everybody knows it. So um, when I was in California, it was just a lot of hard work, dedication, um, being around world-class fighters, and you learn how world-class fighters live, train, and eat boxing. And um, just get prepared for fights. Under my glove, hang as I be jamming. Fuck to the bus, it was it. Let me see what's really happening. She the ship and I'm the captain. I'm the captain. Who the big and in the big ocean that make me happy. And I'm on the way in your city. I'm on the reason. I want to welcome you to uh, One Hit Promotions Media Day. I am uh, David Moore. I am the owner and promoter of One Hit Promotions. Uh, today we will be having a signing of Antoine, the future, Austin. Go ahead and sign that paper. The official, yeah, baby. It's official. The official. Now, this past Saturday, I had the pleasure of attending a media day in which One Hit Promotions, mm -hmm. a promotional company right here in Durham, North Carolina, made you their flagship fighter. You sign a contract with One Hit, you'll be fighting with that company in 2015. How do you feel about being the, the top fighter or the flagship fighter, uh, should I say, for, for a promotional company and the weight and, and the expectations that comes along with that? Well, it feels good, man. It feels good to um, carry on a, a company like One Hit Promotions, and the very most important thing in the game is to have a promoter that that's, that's with you, behind you 100%, and want to move you forward to, to the rankings, to a world title, to to a big fight. So um, it feel it feel good to you know to have somebody like that in my corner, One Hit Promotions, who I signed with this past Saturday. Um, it feels great, man. It's just that another stepping stone, you know, just another step. Sky's the limit. Sky's the limit, ladies and gentlemen. Now, One Hit Promotions is owned by David Moore and his wife, Tatiana Moore. So, shout out to Dave Moore and everybody who does something of that nature in Durham, North Carolina, trying to bring big things to the city. Right. You, my friend, will bring big things to the city of Durham, North Carolina. Man, got, you, you have to. There's something uh, Durham need. Bull City need it, man. Need, need something positive to come out of Durham. And, um... Need, need, people need somebody to look up to, so that's that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm having a few fights here, five fights, six fights set up uh, for for 2015, um, just to see my city in person, to see me fight, and have the chance to see me fight whatever live before I start to get on the big stage, and you know just to show people. And it's, it's only it's good something coming out there. Ladies and gentlemen, catch this young man while you can before you have to pay per view him. Seventy dollars a fight. He fights right here in our own city. Let's support our own. Antoine, it's been a pleasure. Thank sir. you, man. Thank you.